as Shawnee Mann is facing multiple obstacles after suffering from a stroke back in 2016. His path to recovery may be long, but his doctors say that his focus will help him through it. I had a chance to learn more about his story. As Christopher Martin stands on his balcony, he takes in the cold but calm weather day in Shawnee. However, he wasn't always able to stand and admire nature. Back in April of 2016, after appearing for a neurosurgery for a malformation in his brain, Martin suffered a hemorrhagic stroke, which is caused by a ruptured blood vessel, which in turn causes bleeding inside the brain. He spends weeks in hospitals, from the Cleveland Clinic to Mercy Health St. Rita's. Even when he was allowed to return home, he still felt the after effects of the stroke. I set a glass of water off to my right and uh, I stood up and I wanted to pick it up and I realized I, I couldn't, you know, from my right side. And it just really irked me. Martin then began losing muscle, especially on the right side of his body. In 2019, he decided to enact a self-guided rehabilitation schedule that would see him visit the gym seven days a week and have two or three workouts each day. He spent a majority of his time trying to regain his form, a goal that he said was personal. I felt that I had more to give, you know. I don't know. I wanted to be a better father, better son, better brother, a friend. Then in 2020, he came across a government clinical trial put on by MD Stem Cell. After applying and getting into the program, bone marrow was taken from his back hip. That procedure produced mesenchymal stem cells, which can self-renew. Those cells were then given back to Martin towards his brain. That when we have a stroke, little pieces are flipped out of the track. And these mesenchymal stem cells go in and replace those. And through his actions, as well as stem cell treatment, slowly but surely, Martin's seeing results. Through regaining muscle, as well as feeling blood flow on his right side, he says he wants to inspire others to fight on. My story hopefully will help a lot of people.